With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, so our question is, an ice box of 1.5 cm thick styrofoam has dimensions 60 cm into 60 cm into 30 cm. It contains ice at 0 degree Celsius and is kept in a room at 40 degree Celsius. Find the rate at which the ice is melting. Latent heat of fusion of ice is 3.36 into 10 raised to the power 5 joules per Kelvin and the thermal conductivity of the styrofoam is 0 0.04 watt per meter degree Celsius. Okay. So now in the given question we have been given that the ice box that contains ice okay at 0 degree Celsius. So let us suppose this is the ice box which containing ice at 0 degree Celsius. Okay. Now the wall of this ice box is 1.5 centimeter thick. So let us suppose the wall, this thickness of the wall of the cube, which is given as how much? This is given as 1.5 centimeter. So this thickness T is 1.5 centimeter, correct. Now, the dimension of this ice box is given to us as 16 to 16 to 30, correct? So, the length, this one is 60, this is 60 centimeters, okay? The height is given to us is 30 centimeters and this width given to us is 60 centimeter, correct? This, these are the dimension of the ice box, correct? Now, it is saying that this ice box is contained in a room whose temperature is how much 40 degree Celsius. Okay, so the outside temperature is 40 degree Celsius. Let us let us suppose that this is T2 uh, theta 2 and the in inner one is the theta 1. Correct. Now, first of all, just calculate the total surface area of this ice box. Okay, so the total surface area of this ice box is given as 2 times length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. Correct. Now from where we get as, uh, from where length is given to us is 60 centimeters, breadth is given as 60 centimeters and height is given as 30 centimeters. Putting these values in the above equation, we get the total surface area. So the total surface area comes out to be 1.44 meter square. 1.44 meter square correct this is the total surface area through which the heat conduction is taking place okay since the thickness of the wall is given as 1.5 centimeter okay so we can find the rate of the heat flow into the box by the Fourier's law of conduction correct so the rate of heat flow into the box will be what rate of heat flow into the box into the box okay so this will be what delta q by delta t correct J just a second this is capital t denoting the time correct capital t is equals to what k a theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by the thickness t correct that is 1.5 okay from here putting the values that K is given to us is 0 0.04 into area is 1.44 into the temperature difference is 40 divided by the thickness is 0 0.015 meter. Correct. From here what we get is the rate of heat flow to the box that will come as 154 watt. Okay. So we know the rate of the heat flow. Correct. Now. We have been asked that at which rate the ice will melt, correct? So, the ice will melt at, ice will melt at what rate? That is the rate, at rate of, at rate of, that is the total heat going to the box divided by its latent heat of fusion, correct? So, the total heat is 154 watts. And latent heat of fusion for the ice is 3.36 into 10 raised power 5 joules per kg. Correct. From here, what we get is 0 0.46 gram per second. So the rate at which ice melt, rate at which ice 
melts is 0 0.46 gram per second or 0 0.46 gram of ice melts in a second okay so this is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today